All right, just give me a second while this gets ready to go up. All right, good morning, everyone. I think today we're going to be playing... We're going to be playing some Grixis Death Shadow while everybody, you know, comes in here. I'll just figure out, finish chatting about what we're doing here. So I like the 18 land list. I took Dylan Donigan's list from the SCG. And then I think I changed one removal spell. I just moved a command at the sideboard. I think I want to, you know, grind with these cards after sideboard. I don't really think that I want to be doing that game one. I think I want to focus on killing people. Um, we have four ops, a total of 10 cantrips. I kind of, I wanted to, so what brought me back to this deck was I recently played in an, in a legacy uh, SCG and I was playing Bug Delver and playing Bug Delver, let me make sure my stream list is working here, playing Bug Delver was, uh, um, was what got me to want to go back to try this deck again just because like the cantrips and Bug Delver made it so that I played played the game the same every time so hang on let me just make sure that my let me just make sure that uh my little stream decker has the right list on it so yeah i just wanted to try more of a i want to just try to play these cantrips and just see what's see what that's like Just to kind of, even though this is this deck is like much less threat dense than the Gen Death Shadow deck, I just want to be able to play like a more consistent game where I'm not necessarily drawing like Teamer Battle Rage, Stubborn Denial when I can't cast them. Because like, um, because playing, sometimes you'll just draw like the Junda Shadow deck, you'll draw like this hodgepodge of cards that don't really um, that don't really go together. And I just wanted to try to make the deck more cohesive. So, okay, let me just make sure it's going here. Yep. Yeah, okay. So then, while we're going here, this is this is the version of Jundai Shadow that I would play right now. Um, I, want, I don't think the Teamer Battle Rage is right for right now. I just don't think it's where we want to be. There's not as many like come up the ground decks. So, and I think Stubborn Denial is just like really important against Storm right now in your bad matchups. That being said, I made it a little more. I added a Pyroclasm with Kozlek's Return to supplement this. And I've also put a Rampager in the sideboard to be able to find. And I've also made the mana base a little better by adding a breeding pool and cutting the stomping ground. But we're gonna we're gonna jump in with Grixis to start. I don't know if we're going to um get two leagues in, but we're going to try to at least get one league in today. My wife did not go to church this morning, so. So she's here hanging out with me. Stream health is good. And we'll put this deck list up here while we're waiting. I wanted a, a three and one split because I just like how Angler is bigger 
and I wanted to try to like just play this deck a little more aggressively, you know, like with the dismember. And I just like that this trades with Reality Smasher. So I'm not sure if the angler is exactly where we want to be, but versus like the three one split. We got one rage in the main deck. I just want to be able you can just find it much more reliably. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Not not any but they opt can dig us to interaction. We're definitely looking for something like a um <clears throat> What do we want? We want like a Thought Scour to kind of superpower our draw here. Looks like we're playing against Blue White or Jeskai. So we'll go End Step, Fetch Shock. Just get Watery Grave and we will opt. I really like opting this deck. I think that's another cantrip. We'll put it on top. One, two, three four five six so if we draw like a couple we have to draw a couple street wraiths in order to be able to play this this here how's my stream quality for anyone that is watching i think we're going to get a steam vents just to have you know good mana we don't really like the steam vents in this deck i think we want both of those so we'll put this on top and then we'll put this on top, and we might fetch it away depending on what's in our opponent's hand after we thought sees them. I'm trying to make sure my stream. Oh, I'm playing territory. Okay, so we're playing against humans. All right. That's no, that sucks. Well, the Death Shadow on top is in the wrong order. So I would be willing to bet that we're just going to go, I guess it is. So I actually can go one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't play Angler and play Death Shadow. I don't even have the triple black. So I'm just gonna go fetch a Blood Crypt here. I want Blood Crypt or I want Watery Grave. Probably want a second red. Just make my mana really good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could just play Angler and Death Shadow. I think I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four, five. The next turn, look to do something like Terminate plus Death Shadow and get in. Oh man, I'm so happy my Stream Decker's working. Stream Decker is sweet. I'm just trying to eat this. Hopefully, I don't get Reflector Mage. If we get Reflector Mage, we're in trouble. Nedvar, how you guys doing? Nedvar, I think you can just click on my Stream Decker sweetness, and you can see what I'm doing. Oh, this is a Reflector Mage. Gosh, that sucks. All right. Bannable. I'm going to take two from here. My opponent comes in, then I'll swing back. Okay. That's nice. Now I can attack. We're going to be actually going to be able to recast this Angler fairly soon, I'm pretty sure. So we are going to shock. Get another Watery Grave. Go here. Hey, Ven, how you doing? Hope everybody had a fantastic Turkey Day. We actually hosted this year. It's the first time my wife and I have been in a place where we can have people over. So, yeah, we had a bunch of our family over. It was pretty awesome. I think Eldrox, I think Eldrazi in Texas is, I don't know, that, I don't think, I'd have to think, I, I'm not super sure, I think that, like, you're playing a lot of really good cards, so I think it's, 
I'm pretty like, medium on it. Like, I'm gonna. I think I should shoot this Thalia now. You know, if he's got another one, it unlocks it. But I, I want to get the taxing effect off the board. I think in modern, there's like a whole bunch of decks that are like right in the middle that aren't doing a whole lot of powerful things that like are a lower power level than other decks. But it, like with having Eldrazi Temple, yeah, we're going to get screwed here with another no meddling mage. Okay, so now he's going to name the Angler. I just think there's a whole lot of decks in modern that are like lumped together. And Eldrazi and Taxes is one of those. Snapcaster, okay. So let's... Now this is actually lethal, so he has to block one of these. If he blocks one, I'm not going to fetch. Or one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I, I have to fetch regardless. So I don't think I'm going to take three. So there's a bunch of decks like Jund, um, Abzan, a um, bunch of just mid-range fair decks that are all like fine. They're all fine, you know. They all do their thing. They have, if you have a good sideboard and you have a good play pattern, you'll do well with them. But they're not doing anything inherently powerful. So we're gonna fetch anyways here because we don't want to take three because we don't want to die to a um, to whatever it is off the top to. Thalia's Lieutenant. Then we're just going to retail this Angler. There's a lot of decks in Modern that are just mediocre power level, and I think Eldrazi and Taxes is one of those. That being said, you have very powerful draws that you can win games, if that makes sense. I think the Human deck is better right now but I don't think it'll be very good in a couple months as soon as everybody begins to like respect it more. You know, if you're playing cards like this deck can't be engineer explosives. I'm surprised my opponent didn't name Angler with their unless they have another reflector mage. Okay, so glad. Good thing we only took we didn't shock. Oh, he's got another one, all right. So he's cracking me for four here. We'll block here. Cracks me for three. Yeah, we might be in a little bit of trouble now. All right, that's a pretty good draw. So let's go here first. All right, we don't want either of these. Put on the bottom. So, we might as well serve with both of these Death Shadows because he has to block them anyways. So he's going to block them with something. There's, there's no difference between... We might as well just keep the board clear to make Thalia's tennis look worse. So, and then this will stay back and block whatever his last Ground Pounder is. We lose to a Reflector Mage either way because he just Mage is one of our blockers. One of the things gets through on the bottom. The humans, the humans deck, it's all right. I don't think it's doing, it's doing some good, like, I think it's good against combo decks. I don't, I think it was, I think it's uh, doing much better because there's just less, um, less death shadow, less fatal push in the format. And as long as there's less fatal push in the format, then this deck will continue to do well because of, you know, this interaction here being very good. Dead Reflector Mage. Nope, there's another Meddling Mage. Okay. <clears throat> Fatal Push. Okay. And if he's got any way to pump humans, then I'm just dead. Yep. Yep. So that was sad that we just drew, I don't know, a million lands, but... We almost had him. 
So here we want the pyroclasm, we want rage, we don't want our stubs, we want Kozilek's return, Liliana the Last Hope's good if you can like pick apart their draw correctly. I like the disc, I like a sum number discard, but not too many. Yeah, I don't understand people that don't talk when they play. Like, if you don't talk when you play, then I don't necessarily think that streaming is for you because people are there to be entertained or have a healthy, just start playing again, yep, or have a healthy um, dialogue with you. Do I want Young Pyromancer? I don't think I want Young Pyromancer and Pyroclasm and Cosalex returning my deck at the same time. I probably can snip this Dismember and this Thought Seize here. What did you start playing when you originally were into Magic Lavar or not Lavar, Netvar, Netrav, Netrav? Reading is difficult. Gosh, my wife's computer is getting hot. Nope, we got one follow here. Let me look who it was. I didn't have my stream lives up there. Netvar. Yep, thank you very much for the follow. Netraver. Netraver, okay. All right, so this hand's pretty good. We've got a push, an opt, and a terminate, and we've got a cantrip. We don't really want to draw any more lands. Oh, we'll grab some more coffee. Modern seems fine. Legacy, so yeah. It is the reserve list sucks. The reserve list is pretty sad, in my opinion. It just prevents a lot of people from playing the format, and nobody likes that. So I think I'm actually I don't want to get blood I want to get blood crypt of this, so I think we're gonna get watery grave, and then I'm gonna pass, and I'm either gonna fatal push or opt my opponent's end step. The reason why I'm moving back to this deck is because I really liked, um, I was a huge fan of Buck Delver and Legacy. Gosh, this is not good. So let's go here. Well, again, I think I'm just going to pass, look to terminate a two drop or opt into something. Yeah, the first big legacy tournament I ever did, I cashed at SCG, and I was just like hooked. I was playing Bug Delver. I loved all the, I loved brainstorming and pondering. The consistency that your deck had was just awesome. All right, that's unfortunate. So we're actually gonna fetch this tapped, I think, and then we're just gonna opt right now. There's no need to take a lot of extra damage. That's just a, I think this is better than a random draw, even though I just kind of contradicted myself with the damage. So I guess we're just going to take it. Yeah, I did kind of contradict myself there, but I guess I'm also not playing. Okay, yeah, now we're shooting ourselves in the foot here. So so let's go down to 14, cycle this, and then see what happens. Should have got another red land there, I think. Okay, so now we can go Inquisition, my opponent, and then follow up with a Death Shadow. Oh, these freebooters are not going to be good. At least my hand's not good to help out with this freebooter situation. Yeah, I wish that, I don't know, I wish Legacy didn't cost what it did. And even though, like, 
I understand the reserve list and I understand what it does for people and what it does for people that are invested in the game. I kind of wish that it, oh God, he ripped a reflector mage. That is savage. Okay, so here I think I just go terminate this, then Thought sees one of his freebooters. And then we're going to play a 6 6 Death Shadow. He's going to have a bit of an Air Force, which is going to be a problem here. Death Shadow is fun. It's the closest thing, I think, to a fair deck that's playable in modern that you can play. Like, you've got game against everything. The only things you really don't have, a, like, are going to. What is this? A Mantis Rider? God. So we're just dead on board now. I'd find an answer to this Mantis Rider. Yeah, we didn't. Blah. That just was like not good. I just was not in either of those games, I don't think. I just got like the pants beaten off me. You like Vic Rixus? Yep. The deck I, I played I played Bug. And I was pretty, pretty pumped with that. But I played against Grixis twice and had a good time each time. Like, it was just fun magic. I guess one of them was fun. Like, I did kind of get blown over. I mulliganed a 6 and 5 in a Delver Mirror, and I just got, like, wrecked. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. So, we're going to cycle two Street Wraiths on one, and then we're going to then either hopefully rip a discard spell <coughs> or... Um, or something to interact to protect our Death Shadow. But this is a this is looking to be a pretty pretty explosive draw here. Um, I don't really know what land I'm going for, so I don't really want. Okay, so now we're gonna play Scalding Tar and pass. We're gonna Thought Scour. Then we might be able to go to Thought Scour for. Angler and Death Shadow next turn. Are you talking about Jeskai with like the. Uh, if you've got Geists, I like the deck. The deck has Geists and St. Traft in it. I'm all about it. If the deck does not have Geists and St. Traft in it, I don't think it's that great. That being said, there's, you know, oh wow, we're playing against Bottles. That being said, like you can play anything in modern as long as you know what you're doing. There's a guy in my local area named Ben Nichols, Ben Nikolic, something like that, and he top aided a bunch of SCG events with various. Um, gosh, this is rough. I think we're just gonna go double threat, and we're gonna make this Death Shadow big. Um, he's top aided a bunch of events with various. Just guy control decks playing like Gear Hulks. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave this Thought Scar in our yard to recharge. He's playing like Gear Hulks, um, like a Johnny's Secure the Waste. It's a much bigger one, but I think I think the one with Geist is better. Geist and Spellcaller because there's just there's way too much flack in modern. You have to you have to kill people. I'm gonna opt on my main phase, probably look for a discard spell. Cause we might we, we might do a we could win here as long as our opponent doesn't land like a daybreak coronet. His first strike is gonna be. Cause now if he attacks, he just eats. Oh wow. Okay, so my opponent attacks, I think they could just die. It's five, we go to five here. Makes our we take five death shadows and eight thirteen fetch shock. We'd have to hit one more way to do ourselves damage. And I don't think I'm gonna block. Alright, so there's another angler. Alright, so let's 
I don't think we want this. We really want, in order to deal 17, we need to do four points of damage to ourselves, which would have to be like, yeah, there's just no way we can do that. So I think we're going to put this on the bottom. That being said, that's a pretty good draw, so we can check out what's going on here. So let's go here. We, we want to hit a Daybreak Cornet. Yeah, right there. So I think we attack. We attack with this Death Shadow. We attack with a Gurmag Angler. Now we attack with Death Shadow. And then... No, we attack with Gurmag Angler because then this can't attack. Excuse me. And then we just play a land. We probably play another Gurmag Angler next turn. We could go Gurmag Angler. If he plays Core Spirit Dancer, we can terminate it. But now this Death Shadow is just a huge brick wall. Land, wouldn't wouldn't uh, land fetch only done? We've been one short, right? Because that's seventeen. We could have done sixteen, right? We couldn't kill him, right? Vend. He's at twelve minus five, seventeen. We we needed like exactly a shock land. We need to be able to do two points of damage to ourselves. Okay, so there's a late cover scout. There's Core Spirit Dancer, okay. So this is going to be a tap land. Here, and then we're going to fetch to make it so he has to block this Death Shadow here. Next turn. Terminate this. Uh, we probably want, so this can get blue. So probably just get Watery Grave tapped. So let me play this. Go get a blue land. Got a team or battle rage would have been sweet. <clears throat> yeah, so one of my friends plays um Black, red. One of my friends plays um plays that Jess Guy Guy stack, and he likes it a lot. So now my opponent's got to chump here, chump with this. They didn't play. They played their Temple Garden last turn. They didn't because they didn't shock themselves here. And now we're just gonna play another Angler, so that we can put um five power in front of this. And we're just going to leave a Thought Scour to fill our graveyard again. So we put 10 power in front of this, so it'll be difficult for him to kill me. Then my opponent has to block Death Shadow next turn. Okay, so that gives him a free block, basically. His last card's Temple Garden. All right, they conceded. They weren't dead. That would have been difficult. All right, so we want Team or Battle Rage. Um, I actually like Sweepers in this matchup, partially because like everything else in our deck is that bad. Um, I want to keep Fatal Pushes in. A couple Fatal Pushes to be able to hit Dryad Arbors and Core Spirit Dancers. Bring in some more Counter Spells. Um... Probably can cut a Snapcaster Mage. We're not looking to play a game that long. I'm going to keep Dismember because it'll allow me to like, explode my draws. Yeah, Liliana is good. Just hope he doesn't have a whatever it is off the top. Um, Ley Line of Sanctity. But, like, you know, that's bad news regardless of how our deck is configured. So we got to cut a couple more cards. Probably cut another Snapcaster Mage. Because we're not looking to play that kind of a grindy deck, grindy game. Um, 
I'm going to cut one more thing. These returns, the Kozlox returns like not great, but sometimes it's just better than whatever I have to bring in. Because I have a lot of duds. I want to keep my discard because if he doesn't have it, it's just worth that much. I could call land if I'm ditching a bunch of Snapcasters. I think I'll do that. We probably can get rid of yeah. Then we can't cast one, two, three, four, five. We can't cast Street Wraith, which probably is not relevant. So the worst land in our deck is Steam Vents. So yeah, we'll get rid of that. We only have like a couple, uh, whatever they are, spells that really matter. Red spells that cast. We only have like four. So we can get we can get away with only one red source. We'll just have to be cognizant of it. <clears throat> so how is everybody's Thanksgiving that's viewing? I hope everyone had a had at least a ate a lot of turkey. <clears throat> so this hand's pretty good if my opponent has a ley line. Like if my opponent ley lines me, then this is a turn two angler, which is pretty good. They kept seven. I think I'm gonna keep this because my opponent shows me a ley line. Oh man, they didn't ley line me. That's sad. This game got a lot harder. Shock themselves, probably play a slippery boggle here. Nothing. Okay, that's good for the home team. All right, we'll pass again, and then I'm probably going to go like Thought Scour because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can play Angler next turn. If we draw like a Street Wraith, we can play Angler and Death Shadow. I wonder what they kept. They just must have the absolute heater. Oh, we milled both of our rages. At least we hit this, which is a castable card. So I'll hit this. Get some use. Get this Scalding Tarn to go hit our Blood Crypt. And cast... Gurmag Angler. Two, three, four, five, six. The next turn we can play Death Shadow. We don't have. We can't fetch Shock, unfortunately, because we drew one of our fetch lands. Hopefully, my opponent just got nothing after that. And not on the suit up Dryad Arbor plan. Rest in peace. It's a bit late. Oh, he's going to path this. Okay. Sure. Get my swamp. All right, let's check out what our opponent's doing here. That means this fetch land's dead, unfortunately. Okay, we're going to take Daybreak. I think I'm going to take Daybreak Coronet, even though my opponent can't, like, it's going to be, they have to draw, like, if they draw Dude, then it's going to be difficult to deal with, but this Coronet's just going to run the game over. My Death Shadow will probably get bigger than this. I could definitely buy that not being, actually, I might as well Thought Scour them now. Might hit one of their creatures. We didn't. And then we hit a fetch land. So it's definitely going to be a slow burn with this Death Shadow. The only thing I really want to... Yep. I mean, that's that's one of the pulls to playing Jund. I've been working on this, like, a bug Death Shadow variant that plays, like, the Grixis one that doesn't play the Bobble and Traverse package. So I'm going to try to see if I can get something like that to work. It's just much more of, like, 
the flushed out cantrips, maybe not playing like maybe playing like a couple snapcasters, playing a delve creature, but like being four death shadow, four tarmogoy, four street wraith. Oh god, he ripped one of those. Okay, so now alright, so we have a six four, which is sweet. Alright, well. Now my opponent can't attack me, because they attack me, they die. Unless they have a way to gain life. Which they don't. My opponent just killed themselves. Literally just killed themselves. It's like, I don't want to play this game anymore. Oh, they're going to get a Dryad Arbor? Okay. Nope. All right. My opponent's like, I don't want to play Magic today. Right, 14, okay. Another thing that I like, like Abrupt, De Abrupt Decay has won me so many games in Death Shadow Mirrors because your opponent will just sit behind a Stubborn Denial. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go. I'll be right back. Be back in one second. back so let's get in with play league match my wife was stirring so I had to uh, grab her some coffee yeah so I really I like this right here is the version of like Jun Death Shadow that I'd be playing right now I really want to get away from Team of Battle Rage I think Excuse me, I just don't think it's necessary at this time. Wouldn't that really play first? Yes. Alright, I think I'm still fetching Watery Grave here. Even with this thing, because we're going to need double blue to snap things back, probably. But this hand's pretty good. We could use a cantrip to kind of smooth things out, but this will probably be fine. So let's get here. All right, playing against ad nauseum. I'm not 
not sure if it's four color, five color, where you should be right now. I think I'm just going to take this Lotus Bloom because I should be able to stub this Pentad Prism on Curve or stub this Ad Nauseam. Why is there no Teamer Battle Rage? So I don't think that Teamer Battle Rage is where Temple Deceit right there, he kept the card on the bottom. Okay, that's a good draw. Find me a cantrip. All right, another Snapcaster. I'm not sure Teamer Battle Rage is where we should be. Um, I think that the metagame is like, we're just going to stubborn denial this. we got to hopefully draw another land so we can just stubborn denial like everything our opponent does. If I don't draw another land, we are on 2-1 beatdowns. I just don't think the Rage is where you want to be in the main deck right now. Alright, I guess we're going to play this. Hopefully we draw, if we draw a fetch land, where we're opponent just like can't win. This is not needed. Um, I think, like I have, I have two versions of the deck, to be fair. Like, let me go six here. I've got right here, I've got like, if I was going to play with Stubborn Denial, without Team of Battle Rage, this is what I would be playing. I would have a Gore Clan Rampager in the sideboard to be able to have that unique effect. And I have a Dismember in the main deck to make me more explosive. But if I was going to play with Rages... This is what I would do right now. I would basically switch like a fatal push and a stubborn denial for two rages and cut the Gore Clan Rampager from my sideboard. Why? Because green the color solved most of the problems of Grixis. Land. Oh, okay, come on. Give me a fetch land. So we play this pen shield. Okay, so that's at least. Takes a card out of my opponent's hand. Probably takes their Pact. So, like... Alright, so my opponent has the combo here. I think I still want to... I'm probably just going to take this Angel's Grace. The... the in order, If you want to play, like, Jund or Grixis, you have to know that, like... You have to know what you're going into with each of the decks. The Grixis Death Shadow deck plays the... Okay, so there's that. Grixis plays a much better pacing game. Where they just go like, set up, set up, cantrip. That being said, we are we are not hitting what we need to here. Okay, well that's a good draw. So we're going to put this on the bottom. We're going to put this on top. We're going to attack. And then we're going to play Angler. And then next turn... We have just snap stub up for the rest of the game. Hopefully our opponent doesn't go like charge into um, ad nauseum plus whatever it is, Angel's Grace. So we don't we want this gone. We want this. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. Yeah, you have to just make sure you know what you want to do. The, the Jun deck is much better at, like, discard spell, discard spell, kill a threat, play two threats, kill you, exhaust you. The Grixis deck plays a much slower game. Like, oftentimes you board out. There's Synchron Ghost, okay? So now we should be in good shape. Well, I guess we're still kind of in trouble here. Then we get Steam Vent. What do I want to do? Do I want to snap Thought Seize? Because my opponent's got packed. One, two, three, four. I think I'm going to go snap Thought Seize. My opponent's F6, which is good. Oh, wow. He had, he had the combo. Why didn't he pack me? So we have to take Angel's Grace because he can then go like, yeah, we got to take Angel's Grace because he'll go Angel's Grace, spoil the vault, find the lightning strike, draw his entire deck, hopefully, or maybe draw his entire deck. He definitely could have killed me there, right? Yeah, my opponent just said they f 6 on accident.
Yeah, my opponent f6. All right, draw a card. We hit a thought season, which is good. So here we just want to cut some of our removal here. We want to leave in some because he keeps brings in lab maniacs. Um, we want more counter magic. We want veils. Opponents, we're just chatting about the, the MTGO problems. So, I think I want this. Um, we can keep this. I like keeping Dismember in whenever, basically whenever I have it, because sometimes you can just like Dismember your own Death Shadow to like supercharge your draw. I'm going to cut more Fatal Pushes, just keep Terminates. I guess, I guess we're just not going to fight the game on that battle. We'll keep the Dismember in if he goes for the whatever it is plan. The, uh... The Lab Maniac plan. And I guess we can just cut a cantrip, which will just cut a Serum Visions. No, we'll cut a Snapcaster Mage. When I was originally playing this deck and thinking about like getting serious into it, I did only play three Snapcaster Mages in my main deck. So I just feel like there's a lot of matchups in modern where you're just boarding these where like Snapcaster is not super great. So it is, it is up for interpretation whether you want three Snapcasters or four in this deck. So, 11 viewers, I hope everyone's having a fantastic morning. Um, what, are you guys, what are you guys doing in Magic? What are you thankful for in the game of Magic? We're going to keep this hand here. We have, like, an explosive. We're going to lead off of that, which is good. We've got an explosive, like... Teamer Battle Rage, Fetch Land here. We have a good turn one play. Uh, we're going to cycle Street Wraith before fetching because we won't mind hitting another land, which we did. Go to 15, 12. So we are going to fetch. It is nice that we drew this. Here, it's kind of like insurance. We'll get Blood Crypt. They did not suspend a Lotus Petal, which is good for the home team. Okay, so our opponent has the combo. I think I'm going to take this Pentad... <sighs> The problem is if I take this Pentad Prism, I think I'm going to take this Pentad Prism because even before I get to K Command, they're going to be able to use the mana. Yeah, I think it's just like two, you know, we do, we need to, my opponent's got a million five drops in their hand, so if we, oh, that's a good draw for them. That's a pretty good draw. You could take an Angel's Grace. Yeah, you could have, I mean, they can't cast, like if I take Pentad Prism, they can't cast Angel's Grace. Well, they do it there. Oh, this shenanigans here. They went bottom top. So I would assume they kept a land on top. So I assume my opponent's top card is a land. I don't know what the last card in their hand is. If my opponent hits lands, this game is going to be hard to win. We're probably going to have to, like, snap. Okay, so there's a land. So I think here I've got to snap um, Inquisition my opponent and take the Angel's Grace. This gets us like a little beater on the board, which is nice. What is this? Other creatures have a base power of 1-1, one, one, a base power of toughness of 1-1. One, one. Huh. Well, doesn't that change with Death Shadow? Does that work with Death Shadow? What does this do here? Or X is your life total. Oh, so with the, uh, Death Shadow's always dead. Oh, that's another good draw for our opponent. Yeah, if they land this, this thing's going to be pretty annoying. It's a 4-4-2. Four, four, At least we can dismember it. Okay, so Secret Coast. So we know their entire hand. 
We put a card. Well, that's a good draw. So let's come in for two here. I would assume he'll ditch either his ad nas or a pact. There's no way that he can. Yeah. So what are we ditching? I think we are ditching this death shadow because next turn we can go command, discard, bring it back and play it. And we can dismember this um, godhead guy here. It does work against Death Shadow. That's what I thought. Because if it's a 1-1, one, one, then it just gets minus your life total. No matter what, it dies. Yeah, unless you're dead. So he does just an Ad Nas, which makes sense. This isn't even like a super shady play from us, discarding this Death Shadow. Because like from our opponents, oh, that's going to be pretty good. So let's again. I think I'm probably just going to discard this teamer battle rage. Unfortunately, I think the can. Well, I think we have a clear game plan. I think the rage is better than this cantrip. Okay, so we hit that. So they just have packed and ad nauseum in hand. So we might as well go. I'm just going to return the Death Shadow and have him discard a card. We could kill this, but I think that just getting him down to like, he needs to rip either Angel's Grace and then he's got no protection. So he definitely gets rid of Pact. So if we don't die this turn, I'm pretty sure that we've got the game locked up. Because with Liliana going up, it's just going to be really difficult for my opponent to... Uh, to come back from this. Like we've got his hand in the abyss. He needs to draw like Angel's Grace this turn. And if at any point we draw a counter spell or a discard spell, we're, we're just in great shape. We can always dis we can like dismember the Snapcaster to turn on to turn on um whatever it is. For uh, ferocious. Okay, we'll discard Rage. Opponent discards. Simian Spirit Guide. My opponent goes for anything. We'll just try to like snap Thought Scour into a counter spell. But one, two, three, four, five, six. So my opponent will have to. My opponent's going to have to uh, hit it this turn, because we can go Dismember here, make this a 6-6, six, six, and then snap Team or Battle Rage. I'm not sure either. So I think we're just going to go for it here. We'll tick. I guess we can separate, move to combat, and then snap team or battle rage. Okay, so our opponent's getting their float on. So I think we're going to go this. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to do here. Well, I don't really don't want to... Yeah, we'll go like this. Even though they are floating here, this still gives them 5 mana. They have to basically ad nauseum right now. And then if they try... I guess I can't do anything funky. Okay, so now then we just go... 
No, my opponent's GG. Then we just rage this, and we got it. Okay. I guess Liliana is getting better in the main deck right now, but like one of the big problems with this Death Shadow deck, and it could be this like could be you know the fact that we don't have Colgon's command in our deck is, and if we cut like a Snapcaster, we can make room for Liliana's because it makes it so we have less cards in our hand, less resources. We're playing the game on a leaner, a much leaner basis. So that could be a reason to play Liliana the Veil in the main deck. There, the fact that we want to just gear our deck to beat up on combo decks a little more. Not exactly sure. So, nine viewers. I hope everyone's having a good morning here. I hope everyone's good hanging out and having a good Sunday. What are all, what's everybody in the chat doing with their magical, magical careers here? You guys play Standard, Legacy? Modern or just drafters. Yeah, that that totally could be legit. I think you could get. I think you easily could get rid of. Like, let me like just go back over here. You easily could do something where you get rid of like one of these. You know, you probably get rid of like one fatal push, and then you can play two veils. You know, for science, and that could easily work. Playing against Nick Yaman. Yeah, do not recognize the name. Welcome to the No Land Heater. Yeah, we'll keep this. We have two cantrips. We'll probably serum visions. We'll probably serum visions on one, unless we hit another land. So we're playing against Burn. All right, pretty nervous here. So I think Burn's a rough, tough matchup. So Watery Grave. I guess I should have mulliganed this hand again because I have double angler. No, hang on. We want to Serum Visions. We want to find a Death Shadow here. We definitely want to land, so we'll put this on top. And then, I think we're just going to put this on the bottom. Because next turn, five, we get to play a turn two angler. Not much, Archmage, how you doing? I like the Dismember a lot, because I think that it's, I think that having the, uh, I think Dismember is sweet. Because it just allows you to be like really explosive. That's that's bad news. Okay, so here's our tarn. So we can go one, three, six. Right. So this is three. This puts six more. Yeah. So we can go get an island. The next turn we can figure out how to deal with this. Um, figure out how to deal with this. Idle on here. Yes, I did. My wife and I, we uh, we hosted Thanksgiving. Had my family in from Vermont, which was pretty awesome. So now I think we fetch Island here and we go full retail dismember on this next turn. And then we can kind of go like, we can at least figure out some more of how to deal with this. Yeah, we had we had a good. It was a great Thanksgiving, the first time my wife and I have hosted. The turkey was an hour and a half late, which was frustrating. I followed the directions. Basically, I messed up like one little thing, like when I was supposed to take the uh, the whatever it is off. But it was just frustrating that it took us. It was an hour and a half late, but. What do you got, man? All right, we're definitely going to block this idol on here. And if my opponent wants to Searing Blaze, 
this, then like I'm just going to be sad. But at least that's going to let me probably give me a better shot. I think Opt is incredible in this deck. The fact that you don't have to clog your mana up on turn one. Yep, Searing Blaze. Okay, so six. Okay, so two, three. Yeah, we're going to have to cycle this Street Wraith in order to have a chance, I think. Or I can just kill this. I guess we'll just kill this now. We'll look to get Gurmag Angler in next turn. The problem is I probably can't cycle this Street Wraith now. Yeah, I think it's legitimately... I, I have four Ops and two Serum Visions. Like, I think that Opt is much better in this deck than Serum Visions. Oh, Moto's tweaking it. Come on. All right, we should be good now. So let's get this and full retail this thing. Then let's just hope our opponent has got bricks for the rest of the game. I don't really, I don't really know how we, how we win this game. <laughs> All right, there's one hit. Two. Yep. Opponent turn forward me. What a savage. All right. While everybody's waiting to come back in, we're going to go like this, this, get our two stubs in, get our veils in, cut a couple thought seizes. Hopefully I didn't lose anybody or lose all everybody. Like that would be sad. Everybody left my internet, lost its mind. I'll uh, bring in this pyroclasm. It's probably better than like a thought seize. Run something back like this. All right, well, we'll wait for that to get up there. And this hand's pretty borderline. I think I'm going to ship it. Network error. Come on. Ship this. At least if, like, all right, we'll keep this. Death Shadow's a good... Good one to have. We'll put another land on top. At least people aren't going to see the one that I mulliganed uh, for and get smoked with. I'll have to check it out on my YouTube page. What is going on? It says I'm all good here. I was getting in with a goblin guide. We draw land. So now I go turn off auto yield. We get our tap land here at the end of the turn. Here we'll get blood crypt. Okay. 
Okay, then I'm gonna get, we're gonna go just terminate this thing. Probably just do a main phase so we don't get, World's Charm would be pretty bad even though we'd wanna save it for all the upstairs. Might as well not give them the option. Okay, come on. It says my bitrate's good. Stream is, is going here. So just suspended a rift bolt. I could have played, maybe I should have played Snapcaster, put this on top. Now I can play Snapcaster at the end of the turn. Just start beating down. Let's hope this stream comes back here. Oh, there we go, we're back. Opponent bolts me. Yep, game two. We lost game one. We mulligan to five in this game. So I think we're we're in a bit of trouble regardless. Definitely gonna just fetch a basic flash in snapcaster here to hopefully just start getting the clock. My opponent misses a land drop, which means I am just dead as a doorknob. But I can go Death Shadow into uh, Angler next turn, maybe? Looks like the stream is back up after some technical difficulties. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's just get past this, come through here. All right, that's a, probably one of my better draws. So let's go here. Do this before combat. And then I'm going to play Death Shadow Anger or Mag Angler. So my opponent does have to kill me here unless they've got like a, a way to deal, like a path. They probably have some number of path deflecting pawn in their hands. Burn deck tends to slow down quite a bit after sideboarding. Leave the terminate in my hand, so if I draw a land, I can terminate my own creature. If they go to whatever it, um, if they go to deflecting pommet. So it's like you gotta kill me, opponent. Double board. There's a lot of draws. There's a lot of ways here that we die. All right, we got passed, so that means we got snap terminate up. Might win this one. Let's save another path. They just like mono paths here. Another bolt me. Okay. Land is good for the home team. <coughs> yeah, I would. I would thoroughly disagree. I, I just think that opt. I don't. I don't think you need to play more cantrips. But I just think that opt is better than. Oh, you got us. I think opt is better than. Serum Visions in this deck. Last Grixis match of the day, then I think we'll move over to play Jund. Yeah, I just think that, uh, I think that Grix, I think that this deck struggles when its mana gets all clogged up, and you have, like, you want to see, you don't want to play at sorcery speed. I mean, you obviously have your discard spells, but besides that, I would like to hold up mana, be able to cantrip on their end step, hold up Stubborn Denial. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll keep this one. Yeah. We'll keep this. I'll play Tarn, hold up here. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't like the black green decks. I don't like 
um, Archmage. I think that they're they're just so slow and like clunky. After playing with these Death Shadow decks, I just don't want to play some mopey twenty eight land uh, or twenty three land deck anymore, where you just lose to yourself more often. I would just rather play like a Delver deck that's just much lower to the ground. So I think we're going to opt here because it's going to be a help us find a land. Put that on top. All right, let's go Inquisition because I can kind of inform us of our decision. These tiny little scholars are super annoying. I guess we'll just take this Thalia so that we can keep doing our game plan. Yeah, that's what I think. Like, I just don't want to play like a mopey twenty-four land mid-range deck. God, these tile holders colors are infuriating. Just because of how the template works here, if I push this, I still lose a card, which is just very frustrating. But Ramanap Field <laughs> played Caves, so we know that's gone. So he takes Fatal Push. I think I'm gonna get Steam Vents. Yeah, because I want I want to be able to Thought Scour this turn, even though I would like Double Black. In fact, if you push it, you really lose a card. What do you mean set? Am I, am I, I'm, not, I'm not following. If I push it, I get two for one, right? My K commands are going to be sweet here. Okay, so that's a good draw. It means we can deal with the next one. Does kind of suck we missed an angler, but... So now I can go here. Alright, Homeboy has himself... A blade splicer, which is gonna be annoying, but I think I just gotta take the sculler. Oh yeah, you get two for one. Yeah, that's that's just frustrating. Ghost quarter, okay. This blade splicer is gonna be pretty annoying. As blade splicers tend to be, they usually don't go up to Reality Smasher in this deck. They usually don't get up that big. All right, I'll let my opponent attack me. Roll my Death Shadow. That's a pretty good draw. So now I can go like Snapcaster Opt at the end of my opponent's turn. Take this smash, or I might have to go like, yeah, so we'll take this smasher, pass this. Yeah, right there's my stream schedule. So if you guys, you know, I'm pretty consistent. I, I tend to sometimes miss it out because of like work or something like that. But, you know, so this ghost quarters are going to be kind of annoying. I tend to miss out because of work from time to time. But uh, if you guys, I do, I'm pretty consistent every Monday and sun, every Wednesday and Sunday. I try to get, um, you know, random streams whenever I can. All right, this is kind of good for the home team here. I mean, if my opponent's got Reality Smasher in his deck or her deck, like, I am totally cool with them ghost quartering me. And then I'm going to go hit this with the mana, cast opt, look for a fatal push. We'll wait. Um... So what do I have for relevant red spells? 
Or did he hit both of my... He hit my steam vents. Okay, so we don't even want this. Right, he hit steam vents and blood crib gas. Yes. We don't need this. All right, that's, that's gas. So now we can serve him with his death shadow. Play this land so that my opponent... There's nothing they can do about it. I probably won't fetch if they don't block. Just get this Gurmag Angler down. I feel like my opponent made a mistake ghost quartering. And I guess I'm going to fetch anyways, so I'll just fetch this tap. And then I should have, I, yeah, I didn't think about this. I'll just fetch this tapped and then play Angler for full retail here. Get rid of all of my discard spells. Yeah, I should have I should have played differently there. But that's another problem with this deck is like you've got your ghost quarters and your your you know your mana denial plan, but you're also playing cards like Reality Smasher, Thought Nuts here, and um whatever it is. Uh Reality Smasher, Thought Nuts here, and Eldrazi Displacer. So you're just a mana, very mana hungry deck. Alright, so now I think we are Block here, only take seven. Yeah, I think we're clear for takeoff here. Even, even if my opponent remove, even my opponent just takes eleven, and then swings back five, six. We can just push one of these, even if he removes this. So we should be able to blow this combat step up pretty well here, by like pushing this tight hollow scholar and then pushing something else. The problem is that they are playing creatures that aren't Snapcaster Mages with their land destruction instead of opt for random mage. I'm not sure that I follow Archmage. Okay, opponent takes the shot. My opponent attacks me. I'm probably going to wait here, see if they can set something up where we just kill two creatures. My opponent definitely should attack with... I don't know if they should attack with this Tide Hollow Skull. Left up for interpretation, I guess. What can they have at two mana that matters? Alright, we'll take this. Two mana is like Thalia, I guess, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I do too. I just don't think you want to... Like, why do you want to be an Eldrazi Displacer deck when you're trying to, like, blow up your own lands? Pyroclasm, Kozilex Return, we want our K commands. Um, I don't think Opt is really... I don't, I, mean, I don't think Stubborn Denial is very good in this matchup. I don't think I want Team of Battle Rage because he's going to have a lot of... Uh, He's going to have eight removal spells and Eldrazi Displacer. Um, Thraven Inspector Value, man. He's probably going to bring in Rest in Peace. So maybe I try to like hedge a little bit and bring in... Because I'd like to make room for these Lilianas here. Because you know he's going to... You know that guy's rocking like 4x Rest in Peace after sideboard. I think I just need to get other ways to win in here. So maybe these commands aren't great, but these commands can go like shock, shatter a dude. Maybe I'll cut like two Inquisitions. But Inquisition is better on the draw than on the play. Oh, this angler should be... We should slim down on an angler, I think. We're definitely, like... Might bring in Gids. Gids would be a problem. No, maybe I can go like this. Hang on. Maybe just keep our deck, like, consistent. Maybe we can go, like, this route. Yeah. Archmage Nilla plays the deck. 
He's a fan of the big get. They don't play Lingering Souls, right, Nella? A single. Yeah, let's get on the Young Pyromancer train. Just board out a couple ways. Like, let's insulate ourselves, maybe. Then, yeah, that's what I'm waiting here to ask. Here, if Nilla can let me know if they got not an ENT. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is what we're gonna do here. We'll try to play like a young pyromancer game, flood the board a little bit. It's kind of weak against Reality Smasher, but we're insulating ourselves a little bit. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. We will keep this. I assume that I will probably be um, inquisitioning on two, on one, to hopefully hit a Thalia. My opponent dresses me, okay. I took my inquisition. So incoming Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Thalia or whatever it is. Um, or rest in peace. Yeah, this is that's just absolutely savage. Spicy Camball. Well they can do that. Yeah, you just got me. Being on the play is gonna I don't think we want that. Now we're in some trouble here. Our hand's pretty good, like if we can get there, besides this. But now he just like ghost quarters this. Okay, displacer. Give me a land. Okay. So now we're playing magic. Just do this now before we have to deal with any like shenanigans with uh whatever it is. Um like Aven Mind Sensor or something like that. They they could play mind like it wouldn't be outside the realm of possibilities to see a mind sensor. Okay. What are you gonna do, man? You gonna show me? My opponent thought not sears me. I'll just take. I'll just like wait. Because I don't want him to take whichever card that. Because I can kill it no matter what. I'm going to take this shot so I can play Death Shadow next turn. I should have waited. Okay, thought not sears. Yeah, we're going to let this happen. Now, this is pod racing. Nice. So we're going to let this occur. He probably is going to take. He might just take Death Shadow as it's my only like legit threat. This pyroclasm looks like gas. If I were him, I think I would take Death Shadow. So, for everybody watching, you can actually look down in my stream here and you can see. Um, took Terminate, okay. And you can see. Where all of my where all of my streams are archived on YouTube. You can check those out if you guys ever miss anything. I think I'm gonna hit this thought not seer at the end of the turn to draw a card. This displacer is gonna get annoying. So let's play okay, so it's not out of the realm of possibility. That's not bad. I mean it's pretty bad actually, because of rest in peace. Ew. How much life do I want to play? Do I want to play four life? Do I want to play two life? I would like to be able to eat a reality smasher. But then I'm going to bluff that we... Oh, he knows that we drew this. I guess he actually doesn't because he only knows about our... Um, only one of the two cards we drew. Yeah, but you can always check my stream out. Uh, my YouTube channel there, you can, if you miss anything, I get them all up there pretty much. Sometimes I get lazy. Okay. 
Okay. I wonder what he's going to take. He knows that he can quarter a watery grave and won't be able to use stubborn in the post combat man phase. You right there. You are right, sir. I hope he takes my task here. That would be sweet. So let's run Gaunti. Some people play a two mana two. They play a four mana two three in modern with Death Touch. Hopefully he takes my Tasker. God, he took my fate. He made the right play. Okay, so we attack him. He goes to twelve. I don't think that's what we're. I don't think. I don't think that's part of the plan. So we get every single land out of our deck. We can cast, and he doesn't like ghost quarter me or anything. We can definitely cast this Tassiger, and then we can just activate it like it's our job. Maybe there's a world where, like, next turn we fetch, like, another red source here. Right on time. Interesting he tapped his ghost quarter. What do we got? So if he blinks this... That's pretty bad for the home team. So we're going to take this. I think I'm going to... So what am I doing here? Cryptic, your opponent's cryptic. What do dreams are made of? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. So... I can go boom, get his last card, and then fetch and go to two. I probably don't fetch because I've got a bunch more fatal pushes. So I think we're going to go. Let's get my opponent's last card here. What do we get? If we win this game through this rest of beast, this is going to be impressive. We got a reality smasher. Nice. Ooh. So that means we can attack. Yeah, that means we can definitely attack. It's coming in here. And then we're going to play Liliana, tick up on this. Um, there is some more coffee. Can we grab you some? Purple notebook out of the drawer. If everyone's paying attention, they'll see that my stream has been graced with my lovely wife. It's in my side or your side? Okay. Oh, let me just go like this. You can make another pot on me, sweet. Please make it. Okay, they make like eight cups. I hear why people still play the Bobless Smasher versions of ENT. Probably because Bob's expensive, Noah. That's gotta be that's gotta be it. Check up on this thing. I guess I should turn off my auto yield just in case my opponent doesn't attack. Alright. I need to whack my red source. 
jokes on them. That could be it as well. What are you doing? Are you attacking me? He's thinking about it. I'm thinking what this stream needs for the entire month of December is just Christmas music being played the entire time. What do you got, sir? Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Now I probably fetch my red source. Great. All right, so let's tick up on this. Is there any difference between one and two in this deck? Dude, that's what I should do. Our Christmas tree is literally to my left. I could I could have it going. Yeah, we're gonna fetch just to thin our deck out one card. There's no difference between two and one, I don't think. Just give us a better percentage chance of drawing something good. I'd like to draw a creature, a cantrip, a removal spell, a snapcaster. That's what I'm talking about. Snapcaster and Pyroclasm is combo. That is a combo. No, I think we're just going to go with like super loud, obnoxious music. All right. Let's open up our pity chest here. Open one of these. We got 10 play points, a bitter blow, bitter bow, sharpshooters, and an unburdened. Sweet. All right. Let me put this deck back together here. I, I definitely took some cards out on accident. Snapcaster. I definitely can see a version of this deck where I play like some number of veils in the main deck and maybe go below three snap, four snapcaster macers, but. That could change. So I think this is what we're going to run back now. As long as we don't do the live. God, that's the best part, man. All right. So I think this is what we're going to run back here. So let me shut off my recording and start.